what we have here is a Mamod SE3C, 3C standing for three cylinder, and it's um, obviously the three cylinder version of an SE3. It's one you won't find in any of the Mamod catalogues or in any of the shops or indeed on eBay because um, it's a one off, or at least it was a one off when I built it. Um, since then, still Dylan, David has uh, made one and in fact improved somewhat on my design. Uh, the advantage with three cylinder is that um, the join between two Amod SE3 crankshafts can be made at the crank pin, uh, which was a fairly easy mod modification. Um, I made the decision right from the start that it was going to be essentially a Mamard engine uh, and made as far as possible from Mamard parts. So that's why the, the base is in fact two SE3's bases joined together. Uh, there's a join here um, held together with, with rivets. Um, it's actually a, a lap joint which I decided later was a mistake um, that caused all sorts of problems um, but um, I got round those in the end. Uh, the engine frames, uh, in fact most of the parts were from SC3's. Um, one of the uh, because it's only three cylinder, uh, one of the frames, this one here, has actually been cut short because uh, it doesn't uh, need the back half to hold the cylinder. Um, the boiler, uh, firebox, so on, are standard SE3 uh, with the exception of the uh, pressure meter and uh, the absence of uh, a regulator but everything else is bog standard SE3. Um, the pipework is modified from an SE3 from the two SE3s. Um, I tried actually separating the uh, junction, the T-junction, um, so as I could join the two together at that point um, but for some reason uh, it just wouldn't come apart I still don't know why I, I suspect it, uh, it wasn't soldered or anything like that it was actually crimped so I've actually made uh, a join between the two pipes at this point there's a little bit of brass tubing under the string here um, joining the two um, which is obviously not not, not Mamard. It's one, that's one of the few uh, parts of this engine which are not Mamard. Uh, the other obvious one is the string, um, which I put there for uh, for insulation purposes. And if you look underneath, there are a couple of uh, aluminium bars, which I put there for stiffening purposes because of the uh, the long base with the join in the middle uh, it needed a bit of stiffening um, apart from that um, and the a few screws nuts and bolts and so on uh, everything else is mamad even the pressure gauge although that's not a standard SC3 item but uh, it is mamad um, I had some problems building it, um, partly due to the f the, uh, the lap jointed base, mean that meant that there was a step in the uh, in the base, so I had alignment problems. I got around that by putting two of the frames on uh, on spacers to lift them up slightly to steam up the engine. Uh, This one has an overflow plug 
the water level. So I shall put a piece of rag under there to catch the overflow. Water. I can't remember how much this takes, so we'll just have to keep going till it comes out. Okay, some meths. recommended procedure with these vaporizing burners is to fill it up to the top and then pour the excess back into the bottle. Okay. Uh, right up. Rather a nice lighter, incidentally, which I got from Still Drilling. Twice has been mentioned in this video. And it appears to have gone out. <laughs> Try again. cylinders and then the rest Thinner oil, crank pins and bearings. And also a drop in the, a few drops in the holes. The oilers here, they're felt pad oilers in this case. should transfer nicely onto the port faces. OK. 
Okay, after a few minutes, I can see signs of steam. A little bit coming out, a little bit of water seeping from the safety valve and from the ends of the cylinders here. Not quite up to full pressure yet. of water coming out of the cold cylinders at the moment. We're nearly there. Nearly there. And there we go. The smoothest of runners. Um, this I attribute to the fact that the steam path to the far end is quite a long path, which was the main reason I put the, uh, the lagging on. And uh, you can see there's a lot of water coming out of the, uh, the last cylinder and very little from the nearest one. But uh, it runs reasonably well. It runs a lot slower than the SE3, which is understandable, and uh, I expected that right from the start because obviously three cylinders use more steam than two. Close up of the three cylinders there. That's it. 